Hey guys, Death Notch here. Welcome back to the fifth episode of our uh, Dark Souls Remastered Pyromancer walkthrough. In this episode, we're going to be finding the uh, Capra Demon. So, first things first, we're going to head on up over this way. Or no, actually, let's, let's take this direction. So, we're going to head on up over this way. And uh, I'll see you when we're closer to the area we need to go. Alright, so once you rest at this bonfire, you're going to want to head on up this ladder right here back to the bridge but we're gonna want to head this direction now you're gonna get burned so there's not much you can really do in this situation you just want to get out of the area where you can be burned as fast as possible after that all right, so right here is the door we're gonna use the basement key on. And we're gonna come on down here, climb down this ladder. And then we're going to want to come on out here and we're going to head right up these stairs because we're going to open up the shortcut, which is this gate. Once you get up there, there open that up and you're going to want to, ooh, okay, you're going to want to come back down here. I think there might be somebody still following me. Hold up. Yeah, there was. Okay. So once you've actually taken care of everyone up there, you're going to want to head down here and take out these dogs. Alright, once you've taken them out, head on back this way. Ugh, sometimes I hate when the walk on thing doesn't select the right target. Pick up this item here, and then head back across. And open Somebody, up. Anybody, help me! Unlock the door. Damn, I'm finished. How did this ever happen? And after he talks, you can open this door with the resonance key we got. Come in and talk to him. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Oh, hello. I'm at besides. Alright, once you're done talking to him, now you can see that guy has an item right there. You do not want to swing your weapon in here. Because there's a high chance you'll hit that guy and he'll hate you. So, just roll through the barrel. Now, once we're done with that, we're going to head on down here and use a little trick. Alright, yeah, you can't do it with the axe, so switch to something yeah use the halberd and you can get a little bit of damage on them you can try and get it after you've hit them once you probably won't I was lucky there I angled it just right you can kind of see under the door that's how I knew where he was 
Or at least the other door. If you want to try... Oh, I got him killed. Okay, nice. So, if you can manage to kill them, then go ahead. Once you're done doing that, switch back to the hand axe and head down just a little further. Then the ambush will occur. I can't see anything. Once you've taken all these guys down, then go right into this house right here, pick that up, and head out. Next location, I'm just going to top off my health just in case. Don't have to, but anyway, head on over here, and there will be yet another ambush that occurs. I'm taking it pretty heavy right now. You need to make sure that unlike me, you actually time your carries correctly. Otherwise, it's difficult. There we go. Another dog might follow you, so just take him out if he does. Last guy I can just max stab him. Now that we've finally taken care of all of them, run down this way once again. There might, I think there's a couple more enemies up ahead, but yeah. Alright, once you've taken care of all the dogs and everything, you're gonna attack this barrel, pick up this item here, and then one of these houses, I believe, yep, this has another set of stuff you can pick up. The target shield is good for quick, uh, parrying. So right through this, right through this mist right here, is the Capra Demon, but first we're gonna head on down this way. Now. You see this guy? There's someone right at the wall right here. Just waiting to ambush you if you don't know. So take him out. Take this guy out too. And you're gonna wanna head up the stairs right here. Up this uh, long walkway, take the archer out. Oops. Got a little stuck on the ground there. Head all the way up here. And then there's someone here we're gonna meet. You still have your senses about you. Then why won't you buy some of my moss? I need your souls. <laughs> and from her, we're gonna purchase a are we gonna purchase something yet? Oh. You might as well start your stockpile of poison arrows. I'm gonna buy as many as I can. Come again, people. Do not attack her. If you do, she's just gone. Probably should have said that before now. 
Anyway, come on down here and unlock this gate right here. Now, since I used a bunch of my SS Blasts, I'm gonna go back to Firelink and I'm gonna refill everything. If you didn't, head on to the Capper Demon. Anyway, I will see you when I'm back. Oh, and just as an introduction here, um, he'll be here at Firelink whenever you get back. I'm not gonna talk to him right now because it's just a quick thing, but we'll talk to him later. Alright, so now, once you're ready to head on through the fog, just go right ahead and we'll get right into the boss fight. You're gonna want to take out these dogs as soon as possible. And also attempt not to die. The Capra Demon can get over there. So that's just a warning. Anyway, you want to run up here and try to get some shots off on him. If he does that, just go ahead and do this. Oops, I missed that. I still got a little bit of damage on him, but... Yeah, sometimes when he tries to get up here to you, he'll fall off. So that's kind of what you're hoping for. If he does get over to you, just jump off. Run away. You can play this fight more aggressively, but I prefer this. If you can get free hits on him, go ahead and take him. There's never anything wrong with that. You can also use the stairs like I just did to land on him. It's not the safest approach, but it well, does work. So. If you find an angle that works, anyway. That's why I don't do it much. It's because it's a little dangerous if you mess it up. Ooh, this is perfect. All right. That's exactly what you want to do to him. Every time, if you can. Now we need to get our shield up. Playing a little more aggressive than I usually do. But we're just about done with the fight now. And there he goes. So with that done, we're going to use one of our homeward bones to return to Firelink. Or walk the fire link if you haven't rested there. Now back at fire link, we're going to talk to this guy, level up, and that'll be the end of the episode. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Incidentally, would you care to learn any sorceries? You're clearly talented, and besides, I owe you. Of course, we will require some materials, but I am happy to teach you some elementary spells. Are you interested? You want to say yes? Splendid. Very well. I am pleased to have a chance to give something back. Well then, let's get started straight away. 
Now there's nothing here that we're going to purchase if we're going for just pure pyromancy like we currently are. Although eventually we are going to want the Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring. It is very good if you are doing a mage or a pyromancer. So eventually we definitely want to get that. Now we're going to go to the fire and level up. We're going to put two into attunement if you can. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.